Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. I'm Jeremy Hook from TMS Capital. With me on the panel today is June Bay Lu from Tribeca and Sam Granger from Totus Capital. And we're looking today at the most shorted stocks on the market. They're obviously stocks that people don't think are good value or quality, but you can make money on either direction with them. June Bay, let's look at the first one, Bingo Industries. Downgrade in February, it's been hit and it's been shorted. Buy, hold, sell. It's definitely a sell for me. Um, the company is facing enormous amount of earnings risk at the moment. Uh, uh, with the building cycle falling off, um, they've got an earnings hole to plug for the next year. And they went out and bought uh, this uh, uh, dollar dump business. And uh, you know that will be okay for some time. But then you've got the Queensland levy going up. So enormous amount of earnings risk heading into 2020. Okay, thanks for that. Now Sam, 11% shorted I believe. Bingo Industries, buy, hold, sell. It's a hold for us. Uh, Bingo, people love that recycling thematic. We can understand their bullishness around that. We've got concerns on a more micro level in terms of the cash generation, which isn't there for us. Okay. And secondly, we think the amount of acquisitions they've made makes it very difficult to work out the organic growth, and we can't reconcile our numbers to their numbers in the presentation. So for us, it's a hold. Good reason to be careful, yeah. Now, Blackmore's has had a terrible time of things. Some movement in the executive ranks and chairman. Buy, hold, sell. Yeah, that's a hold as well for us. We think Blackmores is fundamentally a good business with an opportunity in Asia long term. We're surprised how well the multiples held up given the management turnover and given um, some of the operational issues that have occurred there. So for us, it's a hold. Okay, great. And for you, Jimbei, what do you think? Buy, hold, sell? Uh, it's a sell. Okay. The reason share price held up is because there's not enough uh, lending ability to short the stock. Right. Um, the the, the earning has fallen enormously and then mm. this company stuck with excess inventory and even discount couldn't move it out. Uh, mm. And uh, they uh, and the Chinese market essentially just moved on from their product because they haven't innovated. And have they got a CEO? Um, perhaps just not even warm oh, in the right. seats yet. Mm. So it's, uh, it's going through a very challenging period. Mm. Eventually, when that multi does re derate down, it's a worthy business to look at. It's on a high multiple, but our next stock is not, and yet it's been absolutely carted. IOOF, the Royal Commission, probably its own doings, they're down a long way. Buy, hold, sell. Oh, it's, it's a sell. It's untouchable. Um, this stock has uh, just too much earnings risk, a fee pressure, um, and then the acquisition of the NZ, the, uh, NZ business is looking much, much more shaky now. Um, so the, it's very hard, hard to even ascertain what the earnings might be. Mm, okay. Sam, I love the movie, The Untouchables, but is IOOF the same as June Bay finds it? Yeah, I agree with, agree with June Bay on that one. Um, they came out at the last result and said they had to update the market at some point in the future about what the provision for remediation costs would be in client refunds. We haven't seen that update yet, and for us it's untouchable until then. Okay. Now tell me another one that might be in the same camp, one of yours that you've looked at, that you just would sell at all costs. Yeah, so Domino still has a high short interest, and we think justifiably so. Mm. We think structurally that market has changed. It's much more competitive in the takeaway food and delivery food space now than it was five years ago. We think they're over-earning at the expense of their franchisees and the accounting is very aggressive on a number of fronts. So Domino is still a short for us. Yeah, thanks for that, Sam. June Bay, pizza in your way of thinking as well? Uh, absolutely, I think it's uh, definitely a short um, domino for me. High short interest, but it's going lower because domestically, uh, earning is, it's over earning, uh, exactly as previously mentioned. And then internationally, it's not delivering in the, uh, in the Europe, uh, which we have heard from its peers. Things are doing not so great. Um, and uh, Japan is doing okay, but it's a low quality uh, market. What multiple do you pay for that market? Uh, three days can make an enormous amount of difference. So high quality earnings uh, markets are not doing as well. So earnings still need to come down before you can invest in it. Okay, we asked both our panels for their favourite short. They both came up with dominoes. It's definitely the big short.